Hey everybody. I uh, started recording this and I made a wrong turn, so I'm going to start over here. <laughs> um, I had posted a video that I had done in 2004 in relation to the uh, presidential election. And during that video, I had said that it was the most important vote of my generation. And at the time, it was. Um, I felt that it had a lot of weight to it. I thought that after the four years of Bush's administration, that people really needed to see that we were heading down a path that we shouldn't. Now here we are, eight years from the beginning to the end of the Bush administration, and moving into the next phase of American politics. And I would have to say, at this point, now that things have changed, that this is one of the most important elections of my generation, because we are looking at two individuals that are going to be leading America down a particular path. But the real simple truth is, folks, is that regardless of the road you take, the destination, in this regard anyway, is what's important. McCain and Obama are going to lead us both to the same place. I'm not going to vote for either one of them. But the point that I wanted to bring up in this brief walk to the, uh, the polls is I see a lot of Obama fans out there, a lot of Obama supporters, and I see a lot of McCain supporters. Why don't I see third-party support? Why don't I see, uh, you know, $5 million infomercials for a third-party candidate? American politics has come to the point where it's convinced the populace at large that there's only two options for our future. So that's why today when I walk into the booth, I'm going to vote third-party. I'm going to choose the uh, libertarian candidate, Barr because I don't agree with Obama and I don't agree with McCain and I don't like either one of them. I don't like the direction that they're going to take us. I don't have enough information about other third party candidates because even beyond the Libertarian Party there's even less coverage. It's a sad state that we live in a country that's supposed to be all about choices, supposed to be all about opportunity and yet we're fed too. So when you go out to vote today folks Please, for the love of all that exists, your vote does count. So first and foremost, please vote. But secondly, remember the decisions that you make affect the world. The United States is a hub when it comes to things that happen on this planet. And there are a lot of people out there that live in this country that make so many ignorant decisions based on fear, based on anger, based on bigotry, based on sexism, what have you. Please make a choice and do so to the best of your ability because uh, there are people out there that are counting on you that you don't know about. That's right, I voted, went in. The problem is, is that this is the second time I've been in a situation where my information wasn't on file so I had to vote provisional which sucks because my vote doesn't get counted until a month after everybody else's or something, I don't know. I just know that it basically I'm not counted along with everyone else. They have to do some extra footwork before they can count my vote. I can say, however, that I read every ballot listing, every one. I made sure that I got, went through every one and understood exactly what it was that I was voting for before I did it. When I voted for the presidential option, I got scared because I know I read it and I checked it off, but as I went along, for some strange reason, it got in my head that I voted in a way I didn't want to, so I went back and I scanned that fucker. Made sure that my uh, line was exactly where I wanted it to be. Every one. If you haven't gone out and voted yet, folks, do it. To say that your vote doesn't count is to say, I don't give a fuck. And if you're okay with that, then shut the fuck up. When this world goes to hell because your vote wasn't counted, shut the fuck up. When the government takes away your rights, shut the fuck up. When your family is in jeopardy, shut the fuck up because my vote doesn't count. Just because the decision that comes down isn't yours doesn't mean that it doesn't have value. Just because it came out to a way you're not happy with doesn't mean it doesn't have value. If more and more people start thinking, eh, my vote doesn't count, then more and more votes don't get placed and only certain people's voices are heard. 
I'm not happy with the government as we have it now. I'm not happy with the way things are going. But the only way for me to enact a change without getting into politics and spending the next 20 years of my life trying to change things from the inside is to try and put a little bit of faith in a system I know is fucked up. I made an effort. I tried to make a change. I tried to make a difference. Because it's that important. But I'm just an asshole online, what the fuck do I know? Pretty soon you may not even see this asshole online because the government decided to take it away because hey, what the fuck does your vote matter, right? You don't know. Or is it only when things really, really come down and hit the shit and smack you in the face that you're willing to do something about it?